up until the pandemic started, I still always thought I would own my own restaurant one day. That was sort of the end goal. That was what I was always working towards. Awkward at 81. COVID highlighted that the industry is not well equipped to be able to support through challenges. I loved being a GM, I loved running restaurants, and what I've always loved about running a restaurant is really the employees. Days can be long in restaurants, and so you all sort of get through it together, um, and there's a, there's a really amazing bond that comes from that. That's what's really beautiful about a restaurant family. I mean, at my wedding, half of the guests were my restaurant crew. That the latest numbers in on the damage done to the restaurant industry are very tough to swallow. 23% of establishments in Massachusetts have closed. A labor shortage continues to hamper businesses trying to bounce back. It was really hard seeing people who you care about and who work so hard and are passionate about what they do struggle so much. And to see businesses shuttered who we all look to as, you know, the, the gold standard. We have to sort of fix the model, and I think some of that is through legal change, I hope. So we're at New England Law Boston, and it is the first day of orientation. So I really actually decided to go and start studying for law school back in March. So, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm a little nervous. Restaurant owners want to be able to give their employees a living wage and a 401k and health benefits. And in so many instances, there's just not the financial means to do so. I would love to be part of something that sort of changes things for independent restaurants and for people who work in the industry.